Vincent Winston. You guys can call him if you can't find him. Stop with the dog! 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 Have you been to our show? Have you, have you seen our show before? Really? I hope you enjoy it. We've worked so hard. Do you see the, the stage that we had set? We have such a good budget this year, guys. Such a good budget. Hi. No, how many of you guys have seen the show before? Do you hear me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's the manager here? I am. And that means that we're going to do what I say. So that means we're going to entertain. Yes, we are. Oh my god, you know what? Fine. I can't leave the work with you guys. Go, go, get off stage now. Go, go. Go, you two, off stage. Come on, let's go. We're starting. We need her. Oh my God. It doesn't look good. It looks so good. Shabbat play, Two Sisters, Last Christmas is The Lion and the Wardrobe, 
And of course, our summer musicale, Cat. <laughs> of course, this is the first time that we have managed to stage a play of this scale. It's no secret we usually have to contend with a smaller budget, as evident in last year's Ronald Dahl's classic, James and the Peach. Of course, during that particular run, the peach went off, and we were forced to present a hastily devised version entitled, James, Where is Your Peach? <laughs> Anyways, on to the main event, which I am sure will be our best show yet. So without further ado, please put your hands together. Not yet. Yet. First you, the HK Thrilling Who Done It? The Murder at Habersham Manor. Good God, 
Charles Habersham was murdered at his own engagement party. What a grim, grim night. <laughs> Florence! Charlie, no! I can't believe what I'm seeing! My God, he looks so frail lying there. His skin is cold to the touch. Don't touch him, Florence. I must. You mustn't. You controlling witch, unhand me. Thank you, Pop. 
Perkins, why don't we look here in the last entry? I fear Florence does not love me. At tonight's engagement party, this bearing goes my soul. But I love Charles with all my heart. As I said, driven mad with paranoia and jealousy. <gasps> 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 Inspector Carter, take my case. Yes, Inspector. This must be Charles Havisham. I'm sorry, this must have given you all a damn shock. It did. We're all still reeling. Naturally. Tell me, are any of you the deceased's immediate family? I'm Cecil Havisham. I'm his brother. I'm Florence Collymore. I'm his fiance. Tonight was our engagement party. I take it everyone that's assembled in here? Yes. The only other member of staff is Arthur the gardener, and I saw him and Winston leaving for the weekend hours ago. Winston? His guard dog. I see. Have you poured everyone a stiff drink? Yes, Inspector. so I can examine it. I'll lend you a hand, Perkins. Then lock all the doors of the house and prepare this room. I shall contact my inquiries in here afterwards. Any ideas to the cause of death, Inspector? Could be a number of things. Strangulation, suffocation, poison. But before fully examining the body, I wouldn't like to say. Poison, Inspector, surely not. Try not to think about it, Miss Collymore. As Soon as I finish up stairs, uh, I'll speak to everyone individually, and then you can get some space to calm your nerves. Thank you, Inspector. <laughs> this is all more than I can bear. Uh, uh, I. <laughs> I shall return presently, as soon as I finish examining the... the body. <laughs> well, thank God there are... It's almost as though he's still alive in the room with us. 
He's still nursing, nursing me. Seeing a cadaver for the first time can be unsettling. <laughs> Check his pockets, Mary. <laughs> Inspector? I need you to pull yourselves together to help me to dust the body for fingerprints. <laughs> A letter? Now to dust the body for fingerprints. What was that? Sir? I swore I just saw him breathing. Breathing, sir. <laughs> 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 Cecil, tell me, 
Who do you think killed Charles? I have no doubt in my mind it was your sister, Mary Collymore. My sister a murderer and Charles dead? What a devil of a situation this is. Not so fast, it, Inspector. examining the body, our interviews can proceed. Perkins, bring in Charles's personal effects. Well, do you like them, Inspector? Set them down on the mantel piece. And when were you engaged? 
engaged to be married? In the new year. <laughs> and when did you and your fiancé first meet? Only seven months ago. I see. But my sister has known him since school. Oh, okay. She introduced us at a local gala and it was love at first sight. I knew from the very first moment I saw him that he was a man I wished to marry. Ah, I've run out of paper. <laughs> when he loves someone, there's no such thing as rushing, Inspector. Did you ever think you were rushing into this marriage? Why wouldn't I love him? Did you love him then? How could anyone have benefited? Can you think of anyone who might have benefited from your fiancé's death? Cecil? Not even Cecil? I wasn't having an affair! Don't raise your voice to me, Inspector! You were having an affair! Don't tell me to come, come down! Calm down, Miss Collymore. Ow! <laughs> but where did you find it? I found your letter. The one addressed to Cecil written in your hand, declaring your love for him and saying that the thought of marrying Charles repulsed you. Charles Ray. But where did you find it? I'll tell you where I found it. In Charles's pocket. <laughs> Charles read it. Then it was suicide! Indeed! <laughs> or a murder, conceived by yourself and Cecil Havisham so that you could run away together. You diabolical beast, how can you? I won't stand for this, Inspector. Accuse me again and you'll be stopped. What <laughs> for this tragedy? I'm merely interviewing Miss Collymore, nothing more. What's the matter, Florence? <laughs> Calm down. Stop shouting. <laughs> She's having another one of her episodes. Snap out of it. You're hysterical. Florence, where are you going? Come back here this instant. She's run off. I'll fetch her back. You stay here, Cecil. I dare say the inspector has some questions for you. You were Charles's brother, after all. I'm sorry about her, Inspector. She's badly shaken. We all are. It's been quite a night, and it's getting late. Indeed. Eleven o'clock already. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have any questions for me, Inspector? I do. Similar questions to those I've asked Miss Collymore. Fire away. I'm at your service. Indeed. You and your brother, did you get along well? Up and down. There was rather more strain in our relationship when father died, and it was no secret father cared for Charlie more than myself. This is your father in the portrait, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it not? It is. <laughs> He was the spitting image of Charles, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, ever since he was quite young. You were the junior by four years? Almost four, and didn't I know it. Charles patronized and embarrassed me throughout our entire childhood. He always thought she knew best, and, he all, he, and father always took his side. If he didn't get his way, he became unbearable. He sounds far from the ideal brother. In fact, it sounds like you hated one another. I won't lie, Inspector. Me and my brother never truly saw eye, 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 eye to eye. But if you think I had something to do with murder, you are sadly mistaken. I see. It's a dark night. Uh, Inspector! Uh, you can barely even make out the trees. What are you saying, Inspector? I'm saying, Cecil, that tonight would be the perfect night for you to murder your brother. Please, Inspector, me and my brother had our differences, but deep down we cared for one another. And yet you had an affair with his fiancée? What on earth gave you that idea? This letter I found in Charles' pocket from Florence to yourself. Do you know about that? I do, as it seems, did Charles. Well, bravo, Inspector! You found out about Florence and I, but it proves nothing. We have nothing to do with the murder of Mary Collymore does. Oh, Inspector, she's a dangerously unhinged woman with a devil of a temper. And Florence, as a sister, 
Now, as I say it once and I should say it again, she couldn't stand if anyone marrying her sister, let alone her old school chunk. She saw them at tonight's engagement party and she lashed out at Charles. A crime of passion, perhaps, but there it is! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Havisham. You've been most helpful. If you could send in Mary Collymo on your way out, I'm going to have to follow more than one up like, oh my gosh, one line of angry at a time to get to the bottom of this. Yes, Inspector. Anything to help with your investigation. Hang it all, Charles. Who could have killed you? Everybody under this damned roof seems guilty. That's queer. There's something underneath these cushions. A ledger? <laughs> <laughs> Underwear. Uh, ouch. Uh, uh, Nadja? <laughs> I have some papers I'd like to review in Charles' study. I shall return presently. Oh, do take your time, Inspector. Indeed. Tell me, were you able to find Florence? She ran out into the grounds. Well, Carly Moore, what were your feelings about? <laughs> <laughs> what were your feelings about uh, Florence and Charles' engagement? I was overjoyed, of course. I love Florence and I love Charles. I couldn't have approved more of the match. Oh, come on, Molly Moore. We all know you're a bit overprotective of your sister.
and an affair. What? <laughs> you and my sister! Calm down, Cody Moore! You always were a snake in the grass, Cecil! <laughs> it's not what you think, Flo. We are in love. My sister does not love you? How dare you lay a finger on her? Your own brother's fiance, it's disgusting! No wonder your father hated you. Do not speak of my father, Colleen Moore. The time has come for you to answer to me for your indiscretions. <laughs> Charge your sword. On <laughs> guard! Ha! Nice try, Cecil, but no match for my skill. You know, sometimes I forget you're Charlie's brother. You're so pathetic. I was always too quick for you, but not bad, Collie Moore. I'm gone. <laughs> ha! Ha! Tis nothing but a flesh wound. <laughs> Have at you, Collie Moore. And kick! Ha! 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 You got a good pair, Collie Moore. Good. I'll show you a good parry! I will! I'll show you! I'll show you a good parry on guard! Clang! 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 Slash! Oh, this dog! Stab! Tonight, you hear me? Take 
Great cover! Great Scott! Good students! I mean... Cecil is crossing the landing. We must <laughs> lock him out. Quickly, where are the keys to the door, Perkins? Here they are. Hand them to me quickly. We must lock him out before he bursts in. No, no! <laughs> Quickly, we're going to go out and have a lie. Oh, Inspector, you've given 
give me a chill. They're against poor, I saw another scotch. Yes, I expect so. Is there anyone else that you know over the grounds other than the four of us? Not at all. The guard I left at six, the only other member of staff is Perkins. Good God, I needed that. Does anyone have access to the grounds? No one, Inspector. I'm Tony with the master key and is instructed I locked and bolted all the doors as soon as you arrived. Then who could have killed him? That's a good question, Mrs. Kalimura. <laughs> <laughs> and one we need to answer quickly, we're going to have to alive. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Perkins, pour us all another scotch. Uh, yes, Inspector. <laughs> now tell me, is there anyone else that you know on the grounds other than the four of us? Not a soul. The gardener left at six, the only other member of staff is Perkins. Good God needed that. Does anyone have access to the grounds? No one is. I'm told you the master key as an instructor and locked and bolted all the doors as soon as you arrived. Then who could have killed him? That's a good question, Mrs. Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> and one we need to answer quickly if we're going to get out of this house alive. Oh, Inspector, you've given me a chill. Perkins, pour us all another scotch. Yes, now tell me, is there anyone else that you know of in the grounds other than the four of us? Not a soul. The guard are left at six. The only other member of staff is Perkins! You're gonna need that! <laughs> Does anyone have access to the grounds? No one, Inspector. I'm going to pass the key and sister shut it. I locked and bolted all the doors as soon as you arrived. Then who could have killed him? No one could have killed him. Except for the people who are in this room. Good God! <laughs> You're right, it's one of us. <laughs> this is a disaster! Blackout! Intermission! <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, let's go. There's something wrong with it. I think it's. 
Oh, it's unpinned. Thank you. 
Now let us remind ourselves of what we know. <laughs> we know that Charles Habersham was murdered here on the night of his engagement party. We know that his fiancée was involved in an affair with his own brother Cecil. How could my sister behave in such a way? Not now, Mary. We know that he too was murdered in cold blood. The only thing we don't know is who the murderer is. Tension in this house. Uh, oh, the tension in this house. It, uh, oh, it, uh, oh, it's tense. <laughs> Have you come out, Florence? Uh, I feel fine. That's dreadful. <laughs> yes, I want to die. That's the spirit, Florence. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Miss Collymore, I must ask you an important question. Where were you when the murder was committed? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> hold on. I was lying down, drinking a, drinking a mustache. <laughs> that makes perfect sense, so was I. <laughs> Kiss me a thousand times, I'm yours. <laughs> of course, Florence, that's what sisters are for. <laughs> this is a disaster, and it's already midnight. This is a this was the mo This was the Just so you know, 
Well, Winston, well, I got the fault in the storm and couldn't make it to the gates. Come on, tell me, Arthur, please, come inside. You won't believe what a disaster this evening has been. Hey, what do you mean? Whoa, Winston, they are from the chase lounge. Whoa, Winston, oh, I don't hope that lady's leg. Winston, oh, don't bite her face. Oh, my God, Winston, what are you doing, boy? Oh, my God. Arthur, 
I presume? I'm the longest to remember here at Habersham Manor. He's been working for Mr. Habersham for over 90 years. <laughs> Ninety-nine years. <laughs> Ninety-nine years? What a dedicated man. But Arthur. But Arthur, I was... Hey, I'm sorry. Can you speak up, young man? I was in... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would appear that you were hiding in the grounds on the night the two men were murdered. Yeah. Arthur became trapped in the storm and couldn't make it to the gates in time. How implausible. I don't suppose you realize what you fucked into this evening. Arthur. Uh, on the contrary, Inspector, it appears I have discovered a clue that will help close this case. A handkerchief. Monogram act. Monogram. <laughs> and stained with kyanide. Cyanide! <laughs> <laughs> Drop beneath the forest window that was used to gain access to this room so someone could poison Charles. Good God, how dreadful. I must inspect this handkerchief in more detail. <coughs> Mary, fetch me my magnifying glass from Charles's desk. <laughs> yes, Inspector? <coughs> Charlie Moore is a murderer, Inspector! The murderer? How can you? I 
check my big crackers once more. The murderer? How can you? I check my big <laughs> oh. She's having another one of her hysterical episodes. Snap out of it, you're hysterical. You killed your fiance, Florence. What do you have to say for yourself? the body for evidence of cyanide poisoning. Call him all, Perkins, if you could show me to the service quarters to check the deceased once more. Yes, Inspector. And Arthur, you stay here with Florence and ensure she does not leave this room. Arthur, you've known me years. Surely you believe I would never do something like this? Uh, on the contrary, Miss Collymore. It was I who discovered you to be the guilty party. Oh, Arthur, how can you? Please, you must protect me from these fiends. I'll do anything you want your trust. Miss Dollymore, you know I cannot resist your feminine charms. I've seen the way you look at me across the grounds. Even now, the way you're looking at me. Even now, the way you're looking at me. Even now, the way you're looking at me. Yeah, well, wait, I know, Miss Dollymore, I'm a simple And you've said I, before I, how great. <laughs>
happen ever so. <laughs> will both have possible motives for murder, but the true motive <laughs> belongs to Perkins. Me, Inspector? You, Perkins. It appears Charles made Perkins the sole beneficiary of his inheritance. This is all a mistake. Save your... <laughs> Save your pleading for the police station. <laughs> Mary, handcuff her to the chase lounge, let she escape before I drive her there. That, that won't be for hours. The snow's at its peak. That's not true, I tell you. What happened? I must have fainted. <laughs> what happened? I must have fainted. Curse my delicate constitution. <laughs> No. 
nonsense. You'd say that you met Charles before, that he was a consultant on a fraud case you were working on? What of it? Charles found the reason why no other arrest had been made. It's because the man committing the crime was yourself. You were the Foucault. Perpetrator! You were the perpetrator! <laughs> you can't prove it. Well, Charlie could, and that's why you killed him. I know Never. your secret, Inspector. What do you do? Kill me too? Easily. 
Carter had the access and I had the facility to move the money fast and keep it secure, or so I thought until earlier on this evening. <laughs> Line! This sets a damn death trap! This sets a damn death trap! <laughs> as, for, as for Cecil, that was a mere crime of passion, simple as that. Now, I hold in my hand a written list of every fraudulent check that Mary Carter, Mary Collymore, and Inspector Carter made. No, no! This can't can't be true! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Silence, Lord. There will be nothing for me now. Honorably, and... Born of... And... <laughs> <laughs> 